make sure to subscribe and of course ring that bell, turn those notifications on so you don't miss my next video. Hey crew crew, it's Kristen and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I hope you guys are ready for another super duper easy tutorial here on my channel. So a lot of you guys have really been asking how to make these bookshelf units for your home. So we are going to do two super easy tutorials for today. So we are going to do this closet shelf kind of combination unit. And I do want to mention quickly that I do get asked most often where I am able to find the sign that you can change the text to anything you want. You guys are actually going to find that in the edit house. And if you go over to stuff and you scroll all the way over to cute, you are going to see there's actually a wooden one, a regular one, and a handwritten glowing one. So those are what you're going to want to use and you can change the color and the word to anything that you want. So we are going to do the closet with bookshelf and also just the really cute bookshelf because I don't always love using the brown ones that we have in game and it's just a little bit more fun to actually customize what is on your personal shelving in your home. So of course make sure to let me know in the comments if there are any more custom tutorials of certain kind of themes or different pieces of furniture that you guys would like to see me do, of course, make sure to let me know down in the comments. So with all of that said and out of the way, you guys, let's just go ahead and start the tutorial. Okay, so for the first piece of furniture, what we are going to do is pull in one of the barriers that you guys can find over in the party section. So for this one, I am going to make all of the shelving units white, but as you guys can't see, you definitely can customize it to any color that will actually match your wallpaper or your home um, style. So then we're going to go ahead and drag out two of the clothing racks. Now you are going to want to make sure to place these first because we are going to place the bricks underneath to kind of hide the wheels. And if you place the clothing racks after the bricks, they're just gonna sit on top and it's not gonna work. So for this one, I did use two. Now keep in mind, you guys, you can make this however big or small that you want. Now what you're gonna wanna do is just pull in those bricks all along the bottom, just kind of the same width of the actual pieces of clothing as well. And of course we are going to place the bricks on both sides just to kind of close it in and give it more of like a closet and shelving unit. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is put that barrier up against the wall and then you're gonna wanna raise it like on top of the brick so that it's perfectly even so that you can make that shelf to close in the bottom closet part. So this is definitely one of those pieces of furniture you guys have seen over and over again in my homes and builds. And this is probably one of the most requested tutorials that I have. So next what we're gonna wanna do is make the shelving unit on top of the closet. So what you're gonna wanna do is just evenly place the bricks so that they just kind of match within the barrier on the back. And of course, you're gonna wanna have them the same width as the bricks on the bottom. So it's just gonna look like one piece of solid furniture. So you're gonna wanna place this along the sides. Now you either can put this all the way to the ceiling, and if it doesn't reach, like if the barrier doesn't go to the ceiling in your home, you can just kind of use bricks to fill in the gap. But for this one, I did like it just to actually look like a separate unit. You guys will see in the second tutorial how to put it like just all the way to the ceiling. Now next up, this was what I was showing at the beginning and I did try to actually spell my name. The way that I spell my name in real life for some reason, it's like censored, which is why my name is spelled with a Y on my channel, but that is not actually how I spell it in real life. And neither is this, <laughs> surprisingly, but I do really wanna have my own real name in Adopt Me, so I just kind of went with that. And you can definitely put whatever name you want on there or even if you just wanna put like love, or reading or books, you guys can change the font for those signs any way that you want. And I just really wanted to point all of that out because that is probably one of the biggest questions I get is how to make 
those signs say whatever you guys have seen them in like my Build-A-Bear store and also the Walmart that I built here last week. So um, then you're just going to want to put any of the decor on your shelf that you want. I'm like obsessed with adding pastel books and of course our little teddy bears and some flowers. Really hope we get some more like teddy bears of the pets we have here in Adopt Me. Um, as the lamp. So moving over into this super duper easy second tutorial. This is just for a regular bookshelf. So as you guys know, we kind of right now only have those brown wooden shelves, but if you're trying to make something cute or kawaii, they just really don't match that well. So this is for your own customized shelf unit. So I am again making this one white, but as you guys know, you can easily customize it to any color that you want to suit your home style. So what you're gonna wanna do for this one, I made it two bricks long. So you're gonna wanna place one flat on the floor and then place them all the way up the wall to the ceiling and then just pull the barrier up again so you actually can like make the edge because you definitely can place the bricks flat but it just kind of makes the bookshelf a little bit too wide on the edges for the style um, of the bookshelf that I want. So. For the sides, what I ended up doing was just kind of pushing those bricks halfway so that it's not like super duper sticking out and it just kind of makes it the perfect width of a shelf to add your books on. You guys are gonna see I use tons and tons of books on this one. So again, you're just gonna wanna go ahead and add any decor you want, even if you don't wanna put bricks. If you wanted to use this even for like your donut icing, um, candles, or even just stuffy is this is a really easy way to kind of just fill your home with any style that you want so next what you're going to want to do this actually has three shelves on it so you're just going to move the barrier to wherever you want the shelf so if you want some of them to be like smaller than the other or if you want each shelf to be the same size um, you're going to be able to put that however you want and then of course we're just going to put two bricks wide and I just go ahead and actually add in the third top shelf here. So it's super easy to do. Just pull up your bricks. And these are actually really cheap to make because the only thing that you are using is the bricks that is like $3. And if you do make it as a bookshelf, they are actually really cheap as well because they are only a couple bucks as well. And the closet one is definitely a little more expensive. You don't need to add like the cute sign over top of it because that is like $150. So if you guys did want to save money, you definitely can use like some of the cheaper decor. And again, this bookshelf, you can make it as big or as tiny as you want. Like this one was two bricks tall, but if you just want like a super skinny shelf, like the one we have in game, you only need to make it like one shelf. Or if you wanted to make it bigger you definitely can <laughs> so you guys can see one of my favorite color combinations to use is the pastel shades of like yellow pink purple green and blue and um, it's just my go-to I think it just looks so pretty with um, a lot of the style and decor that I use and yes as you guys can see and I really like to make everything have like a different style I don't like to do only um, books so you can kind of make some of them look a little bit messier and some of the shelves a little bit neater to actually look realistic. All right, you guys, well, that is everything for today's super duper easy tutorial on two customized closet and shelving ideas. So definitely make sure to give today's video a very big thumbs up if this was able to help you add some more cute furniture pieces into your home. And of course, make sure to let me know in the comments if there are any other furniture types or ideas that you guys would like to see me do as a tutorial here on my channel. Of course, make sure to subscribe if you guys have not already, as I do post tutorials and tours on my channel all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching, and hopefully I'm going to get to see the Critter Crew next time. Bye, guys!